YouTube, it's Enyor. Oh, my cat's playing with paper. So, about an hour ago I recorded um, this video and it got corrupt somehow. So I'm re-recording it in the hopes that it turns out just as good. Um, so, I don't know if you remember, but in my first video I mentioned that my goal is to eat healthy 90% of the time and allow myself sort of junky stuff 10% of the time. Forgive me, I'm exhausted. It's my Friday, I've been working about two weeks straight, so I'm, I'm a little bit loopy and ready for the weekend. Um, anyway, back to the diet. So last night we went to make chicken, but the chicken was still frozen. So my husband looked at me and he's like, I don't know, you're the one on the diet. Like, you make the decision, not me. And I was like, all right, I've been doing this for about a month. I feel fine. And I'm curious to see what'll happen because I've let my body kind of detox a little bit from most of the carbs. And I said, okay, let's get some pizza. <laughs> that should have been, that should have been signal number one that something was not go, gonna go well. Um, after I ate the pizza, I had, I had two slices and uh, I ate the pizza and I felt a little bloated, you know, a little bit like over, over full, distended. My stomach felt really distended. It wasn't a great feeling. And I went to bed going, oh, you know, I'm probably going to be kind of tired in the morning and not feel super great. Well, lo and behold, the morning comes around and I feel like somebody slammed a brick into my head and my stomach was killing me. I didn't vomit or anything. I just was achy. I was tired, tired more than normal. Cause I wake up even on my days off, I wake up around five 30 in the morning, most of the time. Um, there are some days that I sleep in, but usually, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes after waking up, I'm, I'm good to go. Like I can focus really well. I don't need more than one cup of coffee or one cup of tea. And today I had a cup of coffee and then I had like three cups of tea, all caffeinated, all with my half and half in it. And I just couldn't focus. I couldn't, couldn't do anything. I'm still having troubles focusing, as you can probably tell, because my brain is like all over the place. But yeah, I probably won't do pizza again. Um, I'm still not feeling super great. I'm still really, really exhausted. I just, I feel like I have no energy. In the last couple of weeks since starting this diet, I have felt very energized. I felt like I could take on the world. It's like all of the drive and all of the, the passion that I had two, three years ago that just went away, it's all back. Like I want to do stuff. I want to create stuff. I want to, I want to make stuff and do my passion. And, um, I am, I'm working on a video right now that I'm hoping to upload on my weekend for you guys. It, it doesn't have anything to do with weight loss, but I think that you'll enjoy it anyway. I think that, I think it'll be pretty fun. I'm hoping to do more like that where you get to see what my passion is and you get to learn a little bit more about what I love to do outside of work. Um, I just work a lot, so <laughs> I tend to not have a lot of time for this sort of stuff, unfortunately. I really would like to someday. I'd like to have more time to be creative and have fun. Sorry, I keep looking over at my cats because they're moving around and being all wiggly wiggly. Um, but anyway, back to the pizza. It, it was pretty bad. Um, I talked to my friend, the one who told me about her legs and how losing weight really helped her. And she was like, oh, well, it could also be the dairy, you know, it could be the dairy, it could be the bread, it could be a bunch of things. And I'm like, hmm, probably more the bread. Um, she could be right about the dairy. I have cut down my dairy, but I haven't gotten away from it. I didn't take a lot of dairy in as a child. So to me for now, like I need the nutrients. I need the calcium. I'm already cutting so much out of my diet in the ways of, in the way of like bread and stuff and sugary stuff. Like I need something that's healthy that can replace that as a fuel energy source. I can't just live off of greens and veggies. And fruits are really rare for me because I typically will have allergies to them after the first couple times eating them. I'm noticing I'm better with honey. Having the local honey has helped a lot. I, uh, I had a half a grapefruit this morning, which was really, really nice. And I've been able to eat cherries almost consistently. And this is cherry season. I love cherries. Um, I've been able to eat like three bags of them over the course of like the last month without any allergy issues. Strawberries, not so much, but cherries, I can eat those. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. So back to the main point, I probably won't do pizza again. Uh, if I do, it's going to be way down the line once I've had some time for my body to really adjust to it and to really 
I don't know, maybe cleanse out a little bit further. I really am concerned about going back to anything that's bready um, because it just, it, it hasn't sat well with me. Um, it's not as bad as my poor friend. Uh, I won't divulge anything because hers, hers is all medical. Her reason for being on a diet is medical and I admire her strength and her, her power to get through it is just phenomenal because she can't have, she, she, her diet is way more restricted than mine. I'm doing it to lose weight and be healthier. She's doing it because she has no choice. So I'm just beyond words, I adore this woman to death. Like, I will always go to her for advice, and she, she's been through more than I have regarding this sort of stuff, so I'm very touched that she's willing to share her thoughts and feelings and spend time with me on this, especially since we're both very, very busy people. Um, but, I don't know, she's my bestie, so <laughs> I love her. Like, she's, she's an amazing person. Anyway, um, I guess that's kind of it. The, the last video I did was, like, almost nine minutes long. <laughs> I don't know what I talked about. I probably was, was sleep rambling. Anyway, I want to thank everybody who's uh, watched my videos so far. This is not meant to ever replace my job. I love my job. This is always just to support other people doing weight loss to kind of have a record so that I can keep honest, so that I can keep track of what's going on and I have some sort of diary to say, okay, here were my symptoms this day, here were my symptoms eating this food. This is what's going well, this is what's not going well, you know, that sort of stuff. That's my ultimate goal for this. I also want to share some of my art projects that I'm doing and just basically enjoy, enjoy spreading love and happiness because happiness is ultimately very, very important to me. And if I can spread a little bit of happiness, then I'm going to try. I'm going to do it. Just you watch me. It's going to happen. Um, anyway, I really hope to have that new video up soon. And thank you again. You're all very, very awesome. I just, the outpouring of support from this community has just been beyond words touching. I'm, I'm touched very deeply. So thank you all. And uh, I'll see you very soon. And you're out.